Hey, what's up, my beautiful people? Today is October 12th, and here's your daily energy report. Uh, real quick, uh, don't forget to catch me and Julie Murphy live today at 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Central, as we do our weekly get together about uh, your health and your wealth. Now, we encourage you guys to jump on here um, and her site to ask questions. Um, she is incredibly successful uh, at uh, wealth uh, accumulation and management and the understanding and inter interconnectivity of, you know, our energy, our emotions uh, and in our relationship with wealth and money. And me, of course, you know, I'm always here talking about biohacking stuff, talking about energy, talking about nutrition, talking about physical, spiritual and emotional health, because that's what this is all about. And man, uh, today we have is the day before mercury goes retrograde amongst this plethora of other shit going on so get ready guys um whenever a planet is stationed it's at its strongest energy and we have mercury at 11 degrees with Merc uh, 11 degrees is a master number happening on the 13th which you know is a very powerful number too as uh mars is going direct on november 13th it's very very interesting stuff going on so uh, you know, with two personal planets at a time um, going retrograde, you know, because only three, there's Mercury, Venus and Mars. And then after that, we get into the outer planets. And uh, so this these are very personal energies. These are very these are very like in our face, um, cerebral, how like we're, we're reviewing and we're looking over how we make decisions, how we're thinking. And are we, you know, getting caught up in these self self deceptive uh, or self-sabotaging uh, speeches and talks to ourselves, and how is this affecting how we go out in the world? There's a lot of root chakra and sacral chakra work going on right now. You know, Mars, you know, is especially our passion, our even our sexual desire. So that's a sacral chakra being revamped and you know reinstituted. Looking at you know a, lo a lot of these deep um, patterns of energies within us that have to do with relationships too, especially because we have the Sun that's in Libra. And the sun is going to be opposing, um, you know, Mars retrograde, and uh, and it's already uh, opposed Chiron. So all these deep vulnerabilities coming up, and then of course with Mercury being across from Uranus, that's a lot of the. This is Kundalini activation, guys. This next three weeks is going to be massive amounts of shit coming up, and us having a hot moment to Pipneys or getting in our head and fucking, you know, just getting way too in our own way. So stick like, this is where it's really, really, you know, important. I, I kind of talk about this a lot, but you know, staying in a structure, like doing what you can to listen to your body, you know, like I've had this pain in my back that's been coming back and forth, but I'm mitigating it by just letting myself chill out and relax. But then I got to find that, you know, happy medium where I'm not being lazy. Of course, I don't think I'm, I, it's possible for me to be lazy because I'm a Capricorn. I just don't know, really know how to do that. But it, that feeling of laziness within me when I'm relaxing, learning how to differentiate. Okay. So it's about taking these things apart within us that, you know, when you feel lazy and then you start beating yourself up, but you're really just relaxing and recovering and being nice to yourself. You know, these are things, at least that's one specific one for me that I'm learning, you know, and of course with Venus being in uh, Virgo, um, <clears throat> that's trining over to Uranus, which is nice. And it's, it's, uh, and it, you know, but, there's still and it's actually sextiling over to uh, Mercury. So this is allowing us to see our own shit as far as how we receive. But then the receiving is like we need to understand it in a way to put it in sort of a structure of a box. But we don't want to put the feminine in a box because the feminine don't belong in a box. Right, ladies? <laughs> of course, it's not about male or female, but you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> uh, essentially, we have to put things in and a sort of structure to understand it before we can let it become what it is. And that's just the dualistic nature of the age of Pisces. However, that is changing very quickly as we go into the age of Aquarius, we raise our vibration. We don't need that dualistic nature anymore, okay? So uh, take it easy, guys. I hope, to, I hope to see you guys today live 5 p.m. Pacific uh, for Awaken Your Health and Your Wealth. And then of course, don't forget tomorrow, Tuesday is 5 p.m. Pacific as well. I'll be doing my live. Um, weekly energy report and that shit's going to be one that you don't want to miss because again we have another intense fucking crazy week coming up so i love you all very much i hope you have a great day if you like this information please like share and subscribe you know i definitely definitely appreciate it 
Um, and if you would like a reading for me, go to my website, spiritualbodybuilding.com. All right. Peace out, guys. Have a good one. Mwah.